All right, everybody, three stories. Actually, there are half a dozen stories today. It's one of those typical days where you've got a cascade of news coming at you, all of it relevant to you, your money, your investments, your job. Okay, let me get started. JP Morgan Chase, annual shareholders meeting today. Jamie Dimon uh, coming off that $2 billion loss. To me, here's the central question. As we go into the future, will it be us, taxpayers, who are still on the hook Ultimately, if there is another 2008 style crash, is it us? Are we on the hook or are we going to make some changes and put investors on the hook? I'd like to see that. I'd like to see investors on the hook, not taxpayers. I don't see any prospect of that happening in the near future, but that to me is the central question of the JP Morgan Chase loss. Number two, Facebook. Uh, I've never seen anything like the buzz that there is surrounding Facebook, but maybe the buzz is beginning to recede a little. Facebook has just raised the price at which it will go onto the market, a few bucks higher than we thought last week. But I'm hearing a lot of people say, well, where's the growth in this company? The little guy is trying to pile into it, but the institutions, the big guys, they're not. That tells me something. At number three, Jerry Brown, governor of California, now we know what cuts he proposes to make to bridge the deficit gap, now at $16 billion. Now we know what cuts he's going to get, or try for, if he doesn't get tax increases. Believe me, folks, he's trying to scare us. If we don't raise taxes on the rich, look what's going to happen to our social services. The gravy train, the entitlement gravy train, will be just cut back. We can't have that. we got to tax people more. Yeah, that's Jerry Brown in California. So there you have three stories. <laughs> I could go on forever. There's at least another half dozen. Don't forget Europe. Oh, yes. Don't forget gas prices. Inflation numbers at 8.30 Eastern Time. I tell you, there's a lot going on, and we've got it all. Varney and Company, three hours from now.